Okay, so in this video I'm going to be introducing you to how we deal with reflections. Um, this video is going to be spread over, well, this topic is going to be spread over a couple of videos because uh, there's uh, a couple of different variations that you might encounter. So the first type and the easiest to deal with is if you have a shape and you've been given a mirror line and then you're asked to reflect the shape in that mirror line. So what you might anticipate is that really this shape should be as far away from the mirror line as its reflection should be. And what you can do is you can take each of the corners of the shape individually, so for example starting with this corner, and then see how far that point is away from the mirror line, and then well that point's reflection must be as the same distance away into the mirror. So it's one, two into the mirror, well one, two to the mirror, then one, two into the mirror. So the length, the distance between the actual point and the mirror line is doubled. This point is one, two, three to the mirror line, so its reflection is one, two, three into the mirror. This point is one, two, three, four, five points to the mirror line, so one, two, three, four, five points into the mirror. This point, one, two, three, four, then one, two, three, four. Once you've done that for all of the points, you can then join those points together and you'll find that you have the reflected shape as required. Okay? And it's as easy as that. Count from the corners to the mirror line and then that same distance into the mirror. Draw a point, do this for each of the corners and then join those points up. 